What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys a couple Linux distributions that are tailored to sciences. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to go through a couple Linux distributions that you may not have heard of but they are built and designed for scientists in mind. And they have like a scientific community behind them. And I just wanted to go through and show you guys these distributions, at least give you a high level view of what these distributions are made for and just some information on where to get them from. Now, let me go ahead and open up my web browser so I can show you these distributions. Okay, cool. So the first Linux distribution that I want to show you guys is Scientific Linux. And this is a great Linux distribution. Uh, it has a great community behind it. And I just wanted to show you guys this one specifically first uh, because it has an overall design for scientists as well as this is one of the biggest Linux distributions that is recognized in the scientific field. Now, there are two current projects that are actually using this Linux distribution. I want to show you guys this, but let me go down and read the first page right fast. Uh, it says Scientific Linux is an enterprise Linux rebuild uh, sponsored by Fermi National Acceleration Laboratory. For more information about Scientific Linux, please review the About Me page, which is where I'm going to go. And really what I wanted to show you guys, and I actually don't want to go to the support page. I wanted to go to the, where is Scientific Linux running? So if we read right here, it says, uh, Scientific Linux has been installed all over the world. At one time or another, Scientific Linux has, has had an installed base in experiments on all seven continents. It has even, even been loaded onto systems at the International Space Station. And that's, yeah, that was one of the big things that stuck out to me when I first uh, read about this Linux distribution. And now also the next paragraph, it states, uh, prob probably the two most famous experiments to depend on scientific Linux or CDF and D0 experiment at Fermilab and the Large Hydron Collider experiment at CERN. And I thought that was like real cool or whatever. The uh, hydron, the hydron collider uh, experiment in CERN, that's like a big project, you know what I'm saying? So that just gives you an idea of where this Linux distribution is actually being used. And let me go to uh, CDF because I'm 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 familiar with this one. A hundred percent. It says the collider detector at Fermilab experiment collaborate studies high energy portage particle collisions from the Tavatron, the world former highest energy particle accelerator and just show you that's that you know that circular thing underground yeah i don't know much about this stuff but um because like i'm not a scientist or whatever but i've always had an interest in science i just never took it as something i would want to get into like a feel so i only know you know a little bit but but this is pretty cool this that this distribution is actually being used in some of these scientific projects like this these big projects so but anyway i'll put the link to this it's basically scientificlinux.org and you can go there and download the actual distribution so you can click on the download page and download the live media and you can actually install it from there and right now the current version is uh scientific linux 7 so that's the current version uh the most stable version now let's go down and move on to the next one and the next one i want to show you guys is actually bio linux now this one is directed towards people that work in the biology field and let's scroll down a little bit and this will kind of explain what uh bio linux is it, basically is uh, it says bio linux 8 is a powerful free bioinformatics workstation platform that can be installed on anything from a laptop to a large server or run as a virtual machine uh, bio linux 8 has more than 250 bioinformation information pa packages to a ubuntu 
14.04 LTS base. But uh, and just so you guys know, the I think the most current version it actually uses uh 16.04, I believe, LTS, which I think is running out of support pretty soon. But hopefully they come out with a, a more recent one package. But anyway, that's pretty much what it's all about. Uh, you can install it, you can download it, and like I stated, uh, Bio Linux comes with you know like a whole bunch of packages that are used in the bio information field. So if you're interested in that field, you might want to check out check this out. And I don't know much about it, but if you're in that field, this may be a distribution you may want to check out because it may have some tools and stuff that may help you in the field that you're working in. Now, the next one I want to show you guys is actually a engineering distribution uh and it kind of deals with engineering software that you can use on the linux operating system now this one is actually dormant right now uh as well as the uh bio linux one that i just talked about uh this one is kind of dormant as well uh and i i forgot to say that um right now it's currently not being worked on but i think they may release something pretty soon uh we'll see um, but right now it's like on a stable version. So, uh, when you're working with this type of software, uh, it's no, it's really no need for much internet connection when you're working with these applications that you use for, for like engineering or biology, you could do a lot of the, the work with the system self-contained and not really connected to the internet. But this is a open source, uh, engineering, uh, distribution. As you can see right here, it says, welcome to CAELinux.com, the website dedicated to the open source computer aided engineering Linux distribution. Uh, thanks to open source. Now you just need to insert the live USB in your computer and turn it on and turn it into a free and open engineering development workstation with CAD, uh, CAM, CAE. FEA and F and CFD uh, electronic design and 3D printing features. Uh, and as with all Linux software, well, most Linux software, no licensing or anything is free and open source. Pretty sure they use free and open source software in this distribution. But this is something you guys may want to check out if you into the engineering side. Based on what I've seen, you know, I know a little bit about CAD. I've played around with it. Uh, I'm not great at it, but if you're in the engineering field, this may be a distribution you want to check out. Okay, and so the next one I want to roll right into is actually Fedora. And Fedora has like three different s distributions, so to speak, that you can actually uh, install and use. Uh, they have the robotic suites, they have the astronomy suite. And then they have the scientific suite. So I'm gonna go through each one of these right fast, but it won't take too long, but it's basically put set on top of Fedora. So this one has various, these three actually have, you know, it's a stable, it's built on top of a stable Linux distro of Fedora. So let me just um, read on the robotics one. So if you into robotics, this is the one you wanna download, but let's, let's read a little bit about it. It says the Fedora, Robotic Spin provides a wide variety of free and open robotic software packages. These range from hardware accessory libraries for the Hakuyu laser scanner or Katana robotics arm to software frameworks like uh, Falk or Player and simulate environments such as Stage and RoboCup soccer simulation server 2D slash 3D. It also provides a ready to use development environment for robotics, including useful libraries such as OpenCV computer vision, vision library, festival text to speak systems and MRPT. And it says the robotic spin is targeted to people just discovering their interest in robotics, as well as experienced roboticists. 
and let's go down and go down a little further because I wanted to show you some of the featured applications right fast and I'll do that for each one of them but they have player uh, robotic server and framework for advanced robotic systems uh, sim spark uh, physical simulator for multi multi agent robotics research uh, Fox uh, module framework for high performance robotic systems uh, gas gazebo uh, a versatile and power powerful 3d robotic simulator with realistic physics uh, stage a flexible 2.5d simulator for robotic sensors and movements uh, PCL the point cloud library is a standalone large uh, scale open project for 2d 3d imaging or image and point cloud processing um, Arduino uh, development environment for Arduino open source hardware platform and I hope I pronounced it right I know what I'm saying but <laughs> I always uh, mess up that word or Ardu Arduino uh, but anyway uh, Eclipse a powerful and extensive multi-language integrated development environment and MRPT uh, library and applications for robotic systems development so that's cool you know what i'm saying if you're into robotics uh you might want to check out this distribution i don't know much about robotics so some of these applications you may already have heard about if you're in the field or if you're interested in robotics so uh check this out you know download it and one thing and i'll explain that at the end so let's move on to the next one the next one is the astronomy uh, it says Fedora Astronomy brings a complete open source tool chain to both amateur and professional astronomers. The SPIN provides Fedora KDE desktop enhanced with complete scientific Python environment and astromatic software for data analysis. Uh, K Stores was added to provide a full featured astrophotography tool as K Store uses the ND library to control equipment, uh, various telescopes, cameras, etc., or supported, summarized. Uh, Fedora Astronomy provides a complete set of software for the observation planning to the final result. And just show you a few of the uh, key softwares, and I'm not going to read the description, but Astropy, uh, K Star, uh, Celestia, uh, Virtual Planets, um, Serial uh Indy, uh gimp uh redshift and astromatic so those are some of the features software or applications that are in loaded in this version of fedora so go down and check it out and it comes with the kde desktop and i might do a couple reviews on some of these different scientific distributions just to see how they actually work and try to play around with some of the software in it and possibly give you guys some tutorials on how to actually use some of this stuff. But let's go down and go to the next one. And the next one is the scientific version of Fedora or Labs. And it says, uh, worry of reinstalling all the essential tools for your scientific and numeric work. The answer is here. Fedora Science Spin brings together the most useful open source scientific and numeric tools atop the godness of the KDE desktop environment. So yeah, and I won't read a little bit about it, but I mean, it has a lot of programming tools, um, IDE tools and libraries. Uh, and it's an overall good scientific version of Fedora. And like I said, it, it um, ships with numerous applications and libraries that can help you. Uh, and just to show you a few, uh, IPython, you know, it's an enhanced interactive shell for various features and support rapid interactive computing. Uh, Pandas uh, is a Python library for data analysis, uh, GNU plot, is a command line driven utility for creating 2D and 3D graphs. Um, Matplotlib, and I don't know much about this one, but this is a feature rich Python li library. Uh, R, now I've heard about R, uh, and that's one thing I was trying to get into it because you, you guys know I'm a database administrator, but uh, this is a programming language that's, or a software environment for statistical computing. Uh, and so you can, 
learn how to use that. That may be that's something that's getting kind of popular now that uh, people may want to get into and learn how to actually use or uh, Maximo computer algebra system. Uh, latex uh, fedora scientific includes the complete tool chain and this is one thing I'm confused about I don't really know about uh, tool chain is needed for creating documents using latex which yeah I don't know much about latex at all uh, but good new active is a high level programming language with num numerical computing environment and it says mostly compatible with MATLAB which I don't know much about that either. Uh, but the GNU Scientific Library is included. Um, and it says it's uh, Scientific Library is a C slash C++ library providing extensive collection of mathematical routines. So that may be something you, you know you might be interested in um, just checking out this actual distribution. But yeah, this is a cool uh, thing you want to may want to check out. Uh, and and uh, with all these distributions I've shown, they have like documentation you can go check out and all that. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I hope you guys uh, check out a few of these different distributions that I've shown you. If you're in any of the STEM fields, you know, saying you might want to check out, you know, these distributions. Uh, it all depends on what area of science you're in uh biology this all these different distributions uh most likely got you covered so uh go on and check these out for yourself uh I, I was excited to do this video when i uh found out that they had these dish well i i kind of knew they had these distributions but i never thought to do a video on them uh just showing people that there are distributions out here tailored to different areas in the stem fields you know what i'm saying so that's pretty cool. So if you in school going for any of these types of uh, horror science sciences, uh, you might want to check out Linux because some of these things are being used in the field or some of these distributions are being used in your field uh, that you're going into. And you may want to check it out and learn how to use Linux for that case. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the comment boxes below. And of course, keep it techy.